What's up guys, Camro here, and welcome to episode 42 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be talking about mystery gifts. We're going to go through all the process of making our own mystery gift, and then uploading it to the internet so people can download your mystery gift when they have internet connection. So with that said, let's get into it. So the very first thing that you have to do when you want to do mystery gift is make it so players have the option to go to mystery gift on the main menu. And the way that that is accomplished is by setting this value to true. Dollar sign trainer dot mystery gift access equals true. This is just a script command that I'm calling. Essentially, when you talk to this NPC, they will give you mystery gift access. Uh, if you want it to be on by default, you could just put it in the intro. So, you know, just copy that, go to your intro, and then paste it in somewhere. And that'll make it so that way, at the very start of your game, you will have mystery gift access. But essentially, once that's turned on, the mystery gift button will appear on the main menu. Otherwise, it won't even be there. So, now that that's settled, and we can access mystery gift on the main menu, we need to get a mystery gift for people to obtain. So, first let me break this down. If you go into the pscreen underscore mystery gift script, it's down towards the bottom here. Ding, here it is. There's a whole lot of stuff going on here, and there's really only one thing that we need to be concerned with, and that is this bit at the very top, the mystery gift URL. Right, what this is, is a URL or a web address that points to a text file. And then this is what Pokemon Essentials can go and take and then uh, use the text to generate a mystery gift for our players. So right now this points to a default one for Pokemon Essentials that'll give people a Victini. But we're going to eventually change this to our web, um, our URL when we upload our text file later. And I'll cover that very soon, but first we need to make that text file. So let's go into our Pokemon Essentials game, let's run it, and let's start making a mystery gift. Cool. So here I am, I'm in the town, and um, I want to look at my Pokemon team. So what I've got here is a whole team of six, and I want to make a Mew mystery gift. So let's make him shiny also, real quick. Let's go to debug, and I believe it's cosmetic info, set shiny, make him shiny. Cool. So right now we've got ourselves a shiny Mew, and this will be what we give away in our mystery gift. So let's get that set up. The very first thing you want to do is go to your shiny Mew, go to debug, and go to mystery gift. This will this will start the process of making our shiny Mew into a mystery gift. So the very first thing you need to choose is where the Mew came from. Where did you get this Mew from? Uh, mystery gift showing up twice, I don't know why, but let's just select mystery gift. He is coming from a mystery gift. Now the next thing that needs to happen is you need to choose an ID number for the mystery gift. And you want this ID to be different for each and every mystery gift you make. So, since this is our first one, let's just make it ID 1. Cool. Now the next thing we need to do is make a name for the gift. So let's just call this Shiny Mew Gift. Not Gift. No typos here. Cool. So what this does is it generates a Mystery Gift Master TXT, but we don't, we're not going to use that. But what this does is it, it's made a list, and right now we have one Mystery Gift in our list. If we want, we can make a Kadabra Mystery Gift, um, and that'll add it to the list also. So I'll just make that ID2, let's name that ASDF, whatever. Cool, so now we have two mystery gifts in our list. Now the next thing we want to do, oh yeah, briefly let me touch upon this. You can also make items mystery gifts. So what you could do is debug, make mystery gift, make it so that way they get one dragon scale, and let's make this gift three, and call it scale, scaler. Cool, there we go. So now we have three mystery gifts that we can give to our players. So now, let's go into our debug, Go to our other options and go to manage mystery gifts there we go nice so what we want to do is make sure that the gifts that we want our players to receive have x's in them some of them might start online some of them might not but that won't matter because what we're going to be doing is setting these to be x's so that way our player can receive them and then we'll export it to that text file so let's make it so that way they can receive receive our mu let's make it so that way they can also receive the cadabra if they want and let's make it so that way they can also receive the Dragon Scale. Cool. So now all three of them are online. So export selected to file. There we go. Nice. So now I would say don't worry about reopening this again. It might see them as online or offline. But don't, don't worry about this. Since we've exported it to the file, this stuff right here doesn't matter anymore. What matters is our text file. So let's close this, and let's go to our game folder, and you'll see we have our mystery gift master and our mystery gift.txt. What we want to do is open mystery gift.txt, and just hit Control A, copy all of this. 
So this is a whole bunch of code. Don't try to make sense of it. It's all been, like, <laughs> gobbled up. But it's, it's code that Pokemon Essentials can read. So we're going to copy it. And we're going to go to the internet and post it. So let's see. I was looking at some Reddit stuff. Let me close these. <laughs> so what we want to do is go to pastebin.com. It's very easy to make a, a pastebin account. You're going to want to make a pastebin account. I've made mine, Xcamero. And uh, then you just click new paste. So what we do here is we paste in our code on pastebin.com. And we also want to make sure that it never expires, that it's public, and it has a name. So let's call this our uh, shiny mew plus Kadabra, or you could just call it, I don't know, you could just call it my game mystery gift. Cool. And do not paste it as a guest. What you need to do is make an account and then paste it and so that way have it saved to your account. So let's create a new paste. Cool. So now we've created a paste bin or a, a paste right here that's got all of our text. Now there's another thing that needs to be done. You need to click this raw button up here and that'll take you to a URL that's just the text, nothing else. This is exactly what we want. And um, just for reference, this is what the text looks like for the URL of that, that comes with the default Pokemon Essentials. And then this is what ours looks like. So it's very similar. This is very close to being perfect. Now what we need to do is copy this and then go back into our game and go to the mystery gift URL and delete the old one while keeping the quotes and pasting in the new one. And make sure that you get rid of the S at the end of HTTPS, because if you go back undo, you'll see the original one is just HTTP. It won't work if you have it as HTTPS. So make sure that it's just HTTP. Cool, so there's our pastebin URL, pastebin.com slash raw, and then the URL of our game. Cool, so let's apply the changes, hit okay, and then save. And then just because I'm paranoid, I'm gonna close the game and reopen it real quick after saving. So now let's run our game. So if everything goes according to plan, the mystery gift should work and we should be able to get a Kadabra and a, uh, a Mew, a shiny Mew and a dragon scale. So I'm searching for the gifts, choosing the gifts you want to receive. Perfect, it's working exactly like we wanted it to. There's our shiny Mew, there's our Kadabra and there's our dragon scale. Maybe I should have chosen the better name for that Kadabra, it's a little confusing right now, but let's do shiny Mew gift. There it is. The gift has been received. Perfect. Please pick it up from the delivery man in the Pokemart. Cool. So that that'll be what I'm talking that'll be what I talk about next. But let's also get that dragon scale. There we go. <laughs> nice. We got our items. Cool. And I, I'm just gonna leave Kadabra up there. We don't need him. And if we hit Mystery Gift again, you'll see that Kadabra will be the only one that's still available. Nice. So that's working perfectly. Now let's go into our game. And let's go into the Pokemart. Let's talk to our guy. So this guy will only appear when you have a mystery gift available to you. And when you talk to him, he'll give them to you. Hello, you must be red. I received a gift for you. Here you go. There's our Mew. Nice. I talked to him again. Hey, you have another gift still. Here you go. Dragon scale. So you have to keep talk talking to him to keep getting sequential gifts. But when you're done receiving gifts, he says, I don't have any more for you. Then you can leave. Then you can come back. And he won't be there anymore since we don't have any more gifts. So cool, that is working perfectly. And just to show it off one last time, let's go into the Pokemon Center and check our PC and make sure that we've got ourselves our Mew. And there he is, there's our shiny Mew, cool. So you can customize any Pokemon that you want in your team and then make them the way you want. Like you can make this level 50 shiny Mew with certain moves and then send them off as a mystery gift. So that's cool. That's awesome. So the one last thing I want to cover before ending this is how that delivery man worked. I've, I, we've got our mystery gift all set up, so that's pretty cool. But now what we need to do is take a look at the mystery gift event. The way that he works is by default, he's off. By default, he doesn't show up. And then switch me next mystery gift. Let's see. It's, it's one of these around here. Essentially, yeah, there it is. It, this is a uh, switch that checks to see if you have a mystery gift of ID greater than zero. That's essentially saying, hey, if you have a mystery gift, I'll appear. And then he does a conditional branch where he says, hey, you must be player. Here, I got a gift for you. And then it calls a script command where it takes the ID of the next mystery gift and then gives you that mystery gift. 
So if you want to put this guy in your game, it's simple to just copy this event and then paste it in your Pokemarts or wherever you want, or in your Pokemon centers if you want. Anywhere you want this mystery gift guy to appear, you can uh, copy him and paste him into your maps and he'll appear and he'll give you your gifts. So cool. Hopefully this video helped you out. Hopefully it's uh, like it's actually not too crazy to set up your own mystery gift. I got stuck setting it up for a while, um, mainly due to the fact that I got a... Uh, I had the HTTPS in my uh, URLs for the longest time, and then I thought to remove it and everything worked like a charm. So yeah, mystery gifts are actually not too crazy to set up. I'll have some info if you need to read more about it in the description. But yeah, let me uh, pull up that script one last time. There we go, there's our URL. So one thing that, oh yeah, one thing I forgot to stress also before ending this video, you can actually edit your pastebin and update the mystery gifts for players and they'll see those changes because they're going to this URL. So that's what's really nice about using this method. If you want, you can edit your paste. Let me do that. You can edit your paste and paste in a new code and give players new mystery gifts if you want to like roll out updates for your game. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, hopefully this video helped you out. Mystery gifts are pretty cool and I like to see more of them. And uh, yeah, you know, follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Uh, join the Thundaga Discord. And I hope to see you guys around next time. Yeah, like I said before, I hope this video helped, and I'll see you guys around. Goodbye.